Hi there, Power Systems Engineers. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to solve a load flow in Python um, using PCE. In the last lesson, we looked at how to set up your Python script so that you could run um, PCC from Python and not the other way around. So I'm going to build on that script and I'm going to add the capability to run a load flow and then say how many iterations that last load flow took to solve. So you see here I've set up um, the same as the last video where we've imported, um, the, we've changed the Python path so that P Python knows where to find PSSPY, that library. And I've redirected the output um, from PCC to Python. So now I'm just going to run PCC init, just to initialize PCC. If you run the program, uh, we'll find that we get that um, PCC initialization text to show that, yes, um, Python was able to initialize PCC. So now let's first load a case. So we need, um, of course, to, to solve a case, we need one loaded in memory. So for that, we use the case command. So PCSPY case. And what that needs is just a file name. Um, I'm just going to use the example case that's come that comes included with PCC. So if I run this again, we'll see that the uh, 7w um, case is loaded in memory, and here it is. It's been correctly loaded. So the next step is to solve it. And we'll print a little message to the screen. That says the number of iterations in the last solution. So I'm using the full Newton Raphson solution. I'm using the iterat function here. Yeah. And the iterat function gives you the number of iterations the last solution took. I put that in this variable and then interpolated that into a string, substituted into the string. So this percent %s will be replaced with the number of iterations. So let's run that now. And here we can see there were six iterations, and my last print statement says the number of iterations was six. Now that's it. That's as easy it is, as it is to run a, a full Newton Raphson solution. Um, there are of course options, so I may want to run this with um, taps disabled, so no stepping on the transformer taps. So I'll turn that off. And I can disable switch shunt adjustments as well. The answer should be roughly the same um, in this example file, but it might not be true of your files. And so I knew that I could. Uh, I knew that these options existed, so options 1 and options 5. Um, I'll show you how I found those uh, in the next example video. Until then, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email them through. Thanks.